Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> cats and kittens. Uh, this time we're doing it with commentary again. Uh, you saw the video of uh, bus uh, route number one, the black line. <coughs> there was no commentary there because I thought maybe the, wi the video size would be too large. And then, uh, yeah, all the commentary would have been for nothing. So uh, that was merely a test run, but then it turned out to be pretty good, even though there was an accident in there. But uh, it's a pretty long line, so I thought, I'm just going to let it slip. So this time we're going to do the red line, number two. And uh, we're driving from, um, <clears throat> from Bay Tree Church. That's where we are right now, here. Uh, we're driving from Bay Tree Church to the business center. So, I hope you're going to like it, and uh, this one is in the red line looks, as you can see, um, the interior is also mainly red. And again, this is a BYD, or BYD, build your dreams, bus, bendy bus, just like in number one. Mainly because um, I want to show you all the bus models, and... Um, we will be seeing the man bendy bus and um, the Volvo bendy bus in future bus routes. So, no worries, you will be seeing all of them. So, let's get going. As usual, I'm driving with a keyboard, as you can easily see. And the AI is so unpredictable, this car stopped, so I just look, okay, if they stop, I just go. Uh, in real life, of course, I would be uh, yielding when there is a yield sign, but uh, here the AI is just so strange. Here, yeah, there's a yield sign, but you see, this car is stopping for me, so I just go. I don't wait f until that car has uh, eventually decided what they, want, what they want to do, and that... Um, yeah, you could also see lots of other buses. Uh, there are 75, including this one, on the whole network. And uh, that one, for example, was the pink line, and that is number 11. All buses from the routes 1 through 9 are bendy buses and all those lines or routes are ping pong style not gangnam style but ping pong style it sounds uh, it sounds asian as well though but yeah ping pong yeah <laughs> okay so yeah they're, they're the wheelchair uh, two wheelchairs as i could see there in the mirrors okay yeah, still too many wheelchairs by the way but i got used to it you could see it in route number one I don't know how many wheelchairs I I uh, loaded and unloaded, but too many. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so as you can see, starting at Bay Tree Church, that's the layover because that is a one-way stop. So it's a good a good bus stop to do the the layover, the U-turn. The last one was. Um, South Folsom, and there is number five. The blue line. And that was a bendy bus. I think it was a Volvo. Yeah, and always always listen if there is a second uh, stop sound that that ding that, that ding dong sound is uh, very distinct in the BYD models when that sounds sh just before you stop that means that the wheelchair wants to get out so always make sure that if you hear that then uh, don't immediately kneel otherwise the ramp will most of the time will not go you see here the, it <laughs> if you stop there you know not, you're not helping me right just just go then i can i have enough space to turn 
And since the last update, 2.18, uh, there are several issues with mirrors. Uh, the BYDs and the Volvos are the ones that are probably the easiest ones. So uh, these mirrors uh, still show everything, like 95% of the time. But when you drive the MAN A23 Bendy bus, for example, the old one, or um, uh, also the Crealis in some occasions, uh, the mirrors just go black. And that was definitely not the case before this update. There was a, a special bug with the Citaro, the e Citaro, inside mirrors and outside. But that was fixed. And that didn't even take too long for that one to get fixed. And it was only with the solo variant, the 12 meter. The Bendy bus was working fine. But now it's uh, it could happen in almost every bus that the mirrors go black. And I really hope that they're going to fix this. N uh, that we don't have to wait for another two months before the next update. I mean, obviously they still owe us uh, the bus pack. And um, there's a man, by the way, you see. So uh, line number two, actually, the red line. Uh, has you see you heard the second bell so now we have to take out the ramp for the wheelchair um, so that that over there uh, I could show you there there is the man I think there is even a Volvo on this line as well so there are all three kind of bendy buses are on this line You see that? I think you can see it, the stuttering when the bus is standing. When it's going, it's not there. It's just when it's standing. I don't know why that is, and I don't think that this was the case before either. This is a, might be a camera issue. You can see that it's, it's just, it's not completely steady. Yeah, uh, accidents can happen. Uh, if they happen, I don't even bother cutting them out because uh, it might help the developers actually if some of them are watching. Maybe Tamara is watching, I don't know. Maybe Vladi sometimes watches as well, but he is actually community manager of Astragon. He is not uh, working for Still Alive, but still. Of course, it's also in his interest that uh, the game works smoothly and no major bugs and anything. And here we have another solo line, a two-figure line. This is number, this purple line, so it should be number 10. And on the other side we see number 3, the green line. That's the one we're doing the next time. Yeah, it's number 10. There, I think there on the 3 there is just Volvos on the 3. So we will get to see the Volvo Bendy buses for sure when, when we get to drive number 3. There he goes. Number 3. And in the back we see another number 11. One of the pinks. So yeah. Quite a few buses on the roads here. And uh, I haven't actually even... Um, any buses, any extra buses running during peak hours. So I'm really just doing uh, the standard uh, intervals. That's to save buses, obviously, because there will be a map expansion pretty soon. And this is the Emerald Line over there, number 14, hello. Um, yeah, the expansion is going to eat up at least another 10 to 15 buses, and I, I just don't want to hit the limit of 100. So, once you have 100 buses, you cannot add in any further bus models, so... You always have to make sure that you have some space for more buses if you need to. 
M number one is behind me. I can see it on the map, but you could also see it in the right-hand side mirror. That uh, the black line is just behind me. So uh, yeah, this part here, you will actually see number one and two going on the same route for a short moment. And we have two more wheelchairs, of course. Maybe one of them will wait for number one. That's actually a... That could happen, because we just have the, the black line behind us. Let's have a look. Yeah, clipping is still an issue. They're still clipping into each other. Yeah, both are for me. Alright. But there are a few that will just not go in because they are waiting for number one. And that is... I'm actually not sure if I'm going to get, get uh, receive a punishment now if I'm going, but she's just in, clipped inside me. I cannot do anything there. Yeah, of course. But, uh, I mean, I have no chance. What should I do? So now number one is stopping. So I'm just going to overtake it. Yeah, that is, um, that's still an issue as you can see. But I mean, this is not my mistake. But if this was like, you know, a run where you want to have, um, this is teal line, number nine, hello. Um, if you, if you want to do a 100% run, then you have no chance. Hitting a pedestrian will immediately result in deduction. As you can see here, um, number two is not uh, going into Eclipse Bay. We're just immediately turning here. Black line is going to go straight. And we're turning right here, so we're immediately going to the beach. And uh, black line is not going to the beach, so we will see a new area here. I mean, <laughs> new as in, uh, like in the revised network. I've, I've shown you this part before, but... Uh, I believe that this, uh, like having more lines, in this case 18, makes it a little bit easier. Because it's easier to like expand a few of those when the, uh, when the, you know, the 14 over there, emerald line. When um, the expansion is out, it's easier to uh, yeah, make a few of those lines longer. And there's the colleague of number two. It's easier that way because I have another company with only seven routes covering everything and those are just insanely long it get, generates a lot of income but then again it's sandbox mode so money doesn't really matter if this was career mode obviously I would be looking for the highest income but here it just doesn't matter because you have an unlimited money So now we are here at the Baywatch area <laughs> and again please developers add a bus stop here. I mean come on this is this is a, supposed to be I'm driving slow on purpose here. This is supposed to be a village and I think this even deserves two bus stops this area. Yeah, I mean like one at the beginning and one here at the end and then everything is great or one in the middle at least but something has to be done here this just needs more bus stops this area like such a long stretch of road without a bus stop that's it's a shame
because there is actually something there. It's not just like you're going along the beach and there's a sand there. There's a whole village there and no bus stop. Alright then, so now we are merging again with uh, the black line. You remember? Slope Boulevard on the right. And there's the yellow line, number four. Another Volvo there. Yeah, and then you're a little late, but I could still get the ramp out. But it was like the second bell was just when I stopped. Um, yeah. Oh, I see. Is but this is not a stop, is it? Now we're going to the pier now. Bus stop number ten. I just wonder. Ah, I see. So when you're going from 18 to 19, yeah, it, it wants you to, to take this turn, but obviously you're just turning left. I just wonder... Second Avenue, yeah. South Fulton, Rivera Street. That's, a, that's that's the thing, you know, I can't just uh, put the green stop in there, which would be easier, but then the balance would be off. So, um, yeah, I can't do that. Would have been better in this case. But, yeah, that I wondered why is there a single, uh, why is the line diverting there? It shouldn't be. Anyway, um... Yeah, then go, go. Thank you. I wanted to change the lane, obviously, now, because I would like to get onto the pier. Yeah, so basically, you see there is the second yellow, uh, the second red line over there. So, you obviously, after you stop there, you just turn. That's what you do. Don't go straight, it doesn't, it makes no sense. There is still way more than enough space to actually change lanes after you stopped. That's also something, the pathing, the uh, automatic pathing, is still questionable at best. So now we're on the pier, and uh, yeah, this is total bendy bus territory here. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's it's doable with a bendy bus. It's actually harder with a with a 15 meter bus. But bendy buses are actually quite flexible in turns. At least if the turn is not like 90 degree, but uh There is something that makes sense on on the pier. You could go straight. Uh, actually, in this case, we have to go straight. But sometimes the the game is or like the the route design is asking you to turn right here, which is a little steep. It go, it works, but yeah, uh, sometimes I just go straight and then like go back a little on the main road because you have way more than enough time yeah great that pedestrian hopefully staying on the left the car had to wait for the pedestrian but that was good for me because that gave me enough space to turn 
they are stopping for me here, which is good. And this traffic light seems to be not working anymore. Maybe they have just deactivated it permanently, but there used to be a traffic light as you can see, but now it's dark, so we have to look for ourselves. It's dark for every side, by the way. It's not just this one, it's uh, that one when I was going on the black line, I already noticed it. You see now the mirror has stopped working on the left side because it's too close to the vision and as soon as I'm going straight again it works again. That's not good. Please fix that. That was never the case before. Can we make it without an accident this time? With this AI? I don't know, and of course it's starting to piss, so I'm going to fast forward by two minutes. Well, at least one minute. And there's another man bus meeting us right at the corner. And he's waiting for me, that's nice. You know, it would probably be easier to go straight and just having to turn once instead of turning three times. <laughs> like you gain, what do you gain? 10 meters, 15 maybe, by uh, going like snake, t doing these snake turns all around. But uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I mean, okay, we're pretty, I don't know, we're not too close to the end yet, but yeah, I mean, we... Why not? We can drive a little bit in the rain. But it's raining way too often, so I usually just skip forward whenever it starts raining, because it's, like... When I was driving number one, I was very surprised that I had such a long time without rain. A guy with a pink umbrella. How nice. But why would they cross the road right there? And now it's coming back. That happened also on the black line when I was at Golden Bridge. One, one, of, the, one of the pedestrians did the same. As I say, pathing is not the strength of, uh, of uh, this game. Certainly not. It's just hard to see when it's raining that hard, so I think I'm just going to t fast forward now. You've seen how it is in the rain, so I'm just going to fast forward by a minute. It's also easier to see people in the mirrors and everything. In real life, rain doesn't look like this, actually, so... like I'm a real bus driver, as you already know. Um, and when I drive in the, in a, in the actual rain, it isn't like this. <laughs> so usually I just skip rain when when I play this game. I think this is King Street. So we are uh, about halfway. I would say we are post halfway now. We're like 70% completion. Yeah, route number two is not as long as route number one. Uh, actually, none of the none of the lines are that are as long as the black line. So, oh, there's the emerald line again. Oh, 
I don't think that we will fit. Oh, we do. Okay. Yeah, because he's turning, that's why he's on the right lane. We don't need to turn, so we can just overtake. Yeah, I thought he would stop there, but there is no bus stop there, so that's okay. That's actually South Folsom. That's where... Uh, the next turn, this is where I, we turned right with the black line, and we finished uh, finished up the route there. So, uh, uh, route number two is just going straight, the red line. And I'm staying on the right lane here. However, I could have probably stayed on the left lane, because, yeah, now I'm turning here. So... The right lane is for those that turn right before the merge of the lanes. And we have the Valley Spring High School here, which, weirdly enough, and no, I was not yet at the curbstone. I don't know what was that, but I was definitely not at the curbstone. I was way, way on the side. I was, like, there was so much space. You see, this is also something I have certainly... I'm fully aware of that. I was not even close to the curbstone. And even if, why would the bus make that? There's no way. There's no way. So, that to me is not even an accident because it just, I don't know. It doesn't work like that. White line, number six. And he is, uh, that's Pine Street. Over there, the stadium. Or at least that's where the stadium, the bus, that's the bus stop that is uh, assigned to the stadium. But the stadium actually is not there. <laughs> So I'll just take a reminder there and uh, stay even further on the left to not trigger um, that weird... Uh, I don't know what that was. Tilt? That's more than a tilt. And uh, there we just met the, the, our colleague of uh, number two. And the mirror... Oh no, no, the mirror is still working. The bus has actually stopped. I don't know why. And now he goes. <laughs> and he's turning. Oh yeah, by the way, when the AI is turning, they take like half of the curbstone every single time. They are like almost half of the bus is on the curb. Well, on the on the walkway, actually. That's why. <laughs> it's weird. Like they they bump they yeah they, they destroy road signs and uh, everything. <clears throat> this is quite a narrow road actually so yeah there are different uh, widths of roads and this is more on this one is on the narrow side so here you actually have to stay uh, you have to drive pretty slowly to stay inside the lane You see, that was a good pedestrian. Not running like insane, but just a little jogging because, yeah, you see, a bus is coming, so, yeah. And again, when I'm going up uphill, uh, the left mirror stops working. And as soon as easy, as soon as I go straight again, the mirror works normally. And yeah, if, uh, sometimes it would also go black. Not just stand still, but actually go black.
So yeah, um, this this route is basically going a little bit forth and back. So we have been on Sunkiss before, then went to uh, Valley Spring. Now we're going back to Sunkiss just to eventually uh, finish up uh, at Indigo Hill and uh, Business Center. That's also where the Black Line goes. So we will eventually merge with the Black Line again. But yeah, this is like these are the main lines, so they usually go on the outsides. And the double ping pong, so here the wheelchair wants to go off. Oh, thanks for that like pole right there so you could not even see the second door. Great, so I'll just look at the mirrors then. I mean, the wheelchair has certainly gone up, gotten off. They always go off, actually, uh, the first. When they go off. When I go, when I get on, then they're last. But when they get off, they're first. So, that's, a, that's pretty safe to say that wheelchair went off. So, I think now we shouldn't have a single wheelchair on board right now. It's red, but of course in the US you can turn right when there is a red light, so we can just turn here. Don't do that in Europe, though. So yeah, when you come back this way, so just imagine if you were driving this route the opposite uh, way, then I can show you here the bus stop here on the other side. And then, as soon as you've stopped, sw merge into a left lane and turn left. Don't go straight and then around. That is just weird. Shouldn't do that. that that's what the padding says on the map, but uh, don't follow that. Just turn as soon as you can. And there's the black line. And there's the red line that is actually going, uh, I'll just let him go. That's where we went about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, traffic light is definitely off. Like everyone is going <laughs> at their will. So this part you've seen before. This is uh, the Indigo Hill bit with Golden Bridge, Golden Shore, or the first Golden Shore and then Golden Bridge. But the Black Line is just touching Business Center North and then goes ahead on the main road. And uh, we are actually uh, doing a layover at the Business Center Middle Station. Yeah, in Europe, this would be rechts vor links. So, uh, in this case, I would have to stop. But uh, this is a two-lane road. And there is another red line and a white line over there. So, number two and six. And two more wheelchairs, because why not? Yeah, you see, the ramp didn't work for the first time. Always make sure that you're actually having the ramp out, otherwise you lose more time. And as you can see, when they enter the bus, they always enter it last, so you have to wait. Yeah, sometimes pedestrians will just go into the road here. I had to beep one of them away when I was driving the black line. You see, like now I'm still about 30 centimeters away, or maybe 20 centimeters away from the curbstone. And I was definitely not this close to the curbstone when I got, like, tilted to the left. 
when I was at uh, Valley Spring High School. I, actually, I wanted to tell you something about Valley Spring High School. Uh, they actually uh, re-recorded the audio for Valley Spring High School, even though the name is still Valley Spring High School. The name is not new. It's still the same name. But I think they have just re-recorded every bus stop that is related to a school. Because I think there is going to be a major... I, I always blink left here and turn take this turn in the middle of the road because you need the whole road. This is like a very tight turn and with a bendy bus you will always like be a little bit on the other lane. And we are turning left anyway, so... While turning right in this two-lane road, you can just take the opportunity and slowly merge into the left lane. Yeah, I, here again, took two attempts to get the ramp out. So, if you were a black line, you would just go straight here. But the red line, this is Business Center North, the, the red line will now go to Business Center South and then to Business Center Middle, which is just called Business Center. That is also why I have uh, the destination board set to Business Center, because that's actually the name of the stop. So usually what I do is, when I'm one stop before the end, yeah, just go. Don't stop anymore. When you're already in the, in the intersection, just go. Um, I always, there's number four again. Always when, um, when I'm at the second to last stop, and that's the one we are approaching right now. Hello there, men, 18C. I might hit the curbstone this time, no. No, no, I was still outside. No problem. But yeah, even if you do, then there will be just like a small bump, like maybe so. Not not even that bad, but just a, sl a slight bump. You know, there is never a tilt like that. But as I said, I wasn't even close to the curbstone there at Valley Spring High School. So now we can change our destination board to Baytree Church, because that's where we would be going if I were to go back. So I'll just drive to the final stop now. Which is Business Center. Thank you, taxi. You didn't need to stop for me. Like, the road is so large, but it's okay. That's what I don't understand. Sometimes they stop, like... It's nice that they do, because they see that the bus is coming around the bend, but in this case, it was just not necessary. There is so much space. So that's it. Patriot Church, that's where the red line would go back to. Yes, it says Millbrook Square West, because that's the second to last stop. And I don't know why, when you like... Now I'm giving this bus back to the AI, but it's probably going to... Um, by the way, here is the, the business center tower. Really nice. So when I give this bus back to the AI, it will probably just... Uh, it will still, of, of course, because I've overridden... Uh, the destination board. It will still stay, say, uh, Baytree Church, but uh, if this bus were to, to ride, like, just by the AI control, then it would say Millbrook Square West. You could see that, actually, in the beginning of the video. Now, I, I just want to see how she turns. If she actually goes, and now she goes. So she's turning right. I'll have a look. Have a look. I'll actually go here so you can see. She'll probably even take the sign. Look, 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 look. Look at this. Look at this. She actually. Look at this. 
Uh, the pole is not solid, but well, it would be if I were to turn like that. I would have hit the pole, but Jesus, Louise, she will do the same again with the next turn, and then you will see how she will just take the yield sign out. It's crazy. But we're we're supposed to take like you know when I, when I. She turns like if she drove a, 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 a normal uh, a sedan or something. You see, she took the sign again. If you're going with a bus, you know, you're supposed to first even go a little bit to the left and then just go from behind and then re-merge into here with a bendy bus and then everything is okay. But the AI doesn't do that. Well, all right. So next time, actually... We will be driving route number three, the green line. So until next time, thanks for watching. Look at the towers, Lizzie. Oh no, that was look at the flowers. <laughs> Chisikovsky.